This video will show you how to find a poet and a poem from your country. Over on the left are recommended websites for this, and they're recommended in order. Poetry International is the one that will provide the most benefit to most of the students. Notice that there is an information pop-up here, if I can get it to pop and stay popped. There we go. This will give you step-by-step -step navigation instructions, and each of these links has its own step-by-step -step set of instructions. So starting with the best website, Poetry International. Once you land on this page, you should start with countries. Choose your country from the alphabetical list. I'm going to use Russia as my example. Once that loads, then you can scroll down past the recently added poetry and see recently added poets. Feel free to choose one of those or keep scrolling and find more poets. Look for a poet whose life interests you, whose impact on their country or their culture interests you, or whose poems are moving to you. For my example today, I will pick this poet. And the website provides first biographical information about this poet. I'll take here the, the basic bits that I want to use in my presentation, and I will cite this source. Another video will show you how that's done. Then I can scroll down and choose one of her poems. Here's an example here. And notice that at this website, you will see the poem in its original language. In your case, it will be in Spanish, of course. And then on the right side, you will see an English translation of this poem. This is a reputable website. You may use the information that you find here. Be sure to cite both the biographical information and the poem separately, and another video will show you how to do that. If you don't find information about your poet, about your country rather, at that website, try Poetry Translation Center. Here, what you're going to want to do is start with poets and scroll over and choose country. Once again, you're going to go through the alphabetical list and find your country. Here, I'll use Indonesia as an example. Click on poets. There's some beautiful pictures. I can look at those until I find someone I like. Let's say I like this person's poetry. Here again is the biographical information about this poet. Then I click on the poem, or sometimes there'll be several poems over to the side. What's interesting here is you get a final translation, which was written collaboratively. This is a very meaningful translation that tries to share the artistry and the original meaning of the poem. There is a bridge translation, which is more of a literal translation of the poem, and the original poem in its original language. Once again, this is a reputable website. You can use this information and be sure to correctly cite both the biographical information and the poem. If you were unlucky and you did not find a poet for your country in those first two websites, try Las Poetas. This will be more challenging because this website is all in Spanish. So for example, if, I ch if I'm working on España and I choose this poet, the biography is in Spanish. Some of us might try Google Translate, but I wonder if Professor Elkin would think that was a bad idea. And at this website, the poems will also be only in their original language, but you can use another resource to find information in English about this poet and his poems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this poet's name, and then I'm going to paste his name into this last resource, which is a library database. This is a database of biographies and encyclopedia articles. I paste his name, do a search. The very first thing I'm going to do is scroll down here and use the filtering or narrowing tools to limit to full text. So I'm only looking at articles that give me full information about this poet. And then I can click on one of these articles and learn more about him. I can also do a direct search for a poet in here. Let's say my country, I haven't found any names that work for my country. So my country, as I said, was Russia. So I'm going to say Russia or Russian in the parentheses. I might say Bolivia or Bolivian, Colombia or Colombian, Mexico or Mexican, or I should say Mexico or Me Mexican. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce Mexican. And then I'm going to say poet. So I'm asking this database, find me a poet from Russia. I do my search. Once again, I'm going to come down, make sure I have my limit to full text checked off, 
And I have lots of different types of articles here. I'm going to limit for now to biographies. Now I'll choose a poet. Let's say I like this poet right here. It starts off with basic biographical information that I can use. And then I can go on and read a full text article about this poet. Some other important resources, because this is a library database, notice that I can save this article to Google Drive. I can email it to myself. And really important, I can click here and get a suggested MLA citation that I simply have to copy and paste into my PowerPoint for my presentation. A separate video will show you how to cite your sources. And that's how you find a poet and a poem for this project.